Hey there, and thanks for joining me for another tutorial on track motion. This time I am actually going to use an arrow to track a sports figure. So I'm just going to give you a super quick down and dirty version. I've gone over in previous uh, tutorials some of the basics, so if you need to revisit that, please do. Okay, so you can see I have my video track and another video track up here. I already have my arrow that I've created a Photoshop document and you can um, play around with that, try to get your own arrow. So what I have done because of the track motion, this arrow is actually much bigger and Let's see here. If you drag it down here, you can see that that arrow is bigger than my other arrows that I have down here because I've already shrunk it down in my track motion. Now, if you were to not use track motion and only use the zoom pan crop tool, you would have to do that each time. Okay, so I wanted to just show you really fast first this effect. And then I kind of just do it right in the beginning and um, let it go away for, you know, some of the play. Here's another one. Just enough to identify the person. Um, you're going to know what you're looking for because of the position will be stated. Okay, so let's get going here. I'm going to insert a video track. I'm just going to uh, mute this track out. Bring down my arrow. I'm going to cheat because I know it's right here. Okay. So, I've muted out my other track. Now, this one here, that's what size my arrow is. Okay. They're lining up. Start it here. Activate my track motion. It is synced. So, all I have to do is make it look the way I want to and place it over my subject. Um, every time uh, he moves down a little bit, make sure you don't do this with the little rotation. Make sure that it's the normal cursor and that's how you move it. Each time we kind of toggle along there's the big movement. So in now I'll just try to track ahead of it because you know they're moving forward. And just kind of little by little follow it. And like you can get crazy with it, but like I said, I don't like to do that. Let's play it. I almost like that one better. Okay, so, and then once again, you just can close that out. Here's my next clip. Let's do this one here. Because this is more um, common of what you'll see. The kind of game footage you, uh, you would get from a coach or a team or something like that. This other footage. Um, I actually went out and recorded. So once again, you go into your track motion. Here we are synced up. An arrow looks too big. And just
And folks, if you are doing this for your own kid, please use a tripod. <laughs> That's why this footage, you barely have to move the arrow. I mean, really, you didn't have to at all, so that was kind of silly, but you get the point. It can be that easy. Touchdown. Oh. Not really. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys um, can get your uh, sports videos out there and your recruiting videos and make a little extra money by putting this feature in it. And I know that it is impressive when my clients get it. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another tutorial.